Hi everyone. So welcome again to this training of assembly of climate clocks. So far what we have done, we have learned about the many components that are required for the climate clock. And in this particular module number eight, we are just going to look at the housing, the cabinet, which is going to house all those components. And finally, we will make our climate clock. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for continuous updates. Well, the cabinet is like what is seen here. It can be a metal body. There are two types of cabinets that we are using in our material. The purpose of this cabinet to house the all the component together and it's a rigid structure. We should be able to put everything together. We should be able to hold it. That's ultimate the purpose of the cabinet. We should be able to mount it on the wall also, right? There are different types of material that can be used. One I'm showing you here is aluminum base, but there can be other metal sheet also. There are metal sheets available in the market. And one model that we also develop is a normal metal sheet and you can house inside this. Well, the typical dimension that you see of this cabinet here is the length is about one meter, 38.5 inches. The height is about 16 centimeters, something like 7.25 inches. And it is also the depth. You know? So this is about two and a half inch. So this is the depth. This is typically the dimension and this is aluminum. So it's not very heavy, maybe about 250, 300 grams is what the weight of this. There are these structures in between, you know, and what is the purpose of this structure? It is going to house LED panel. So, and you can see the holes here. So these holes are there for the LED panels. You'll be able to fix one LED panel here, another LED panel here, another LED panel. So this structure is designed for three P10 LED display to fixed. Okay. As I said, there are two models that are available for the cabinet and it can be aluminum based, which is going to be a little lighter or the metal based, which is little bit better protection from the rain. If you're going to install your climate clock outside, you can see there it is like this, but they are similar the dimensions and like the aluminum sheet, you can see there are holes here where you can put actually your P10 display. You can put three P10 display here, similar holes are there. And this is the front side where you are going to put it. And there is a, the back side you can see. Uh, here we can actually put all your electronics and the controller and P10 display will be appearing from the back side. If you got this as a cabinet, be careful. There are sharp edges and protect yourself. Handles are already fixed in advance. And on the top, you can actually put material for the, uh, the putting the climate clock. I'm going to show you. So this is the second type of cabinet. One last thing about the cabinet before we go is that each of this cabinet will have this kind of marking, you know, that's an arrow marking. I hope you will be able to see this, this way and that way. You know why these arrow markings are there? Well, this arrow marking is very important. It will show you the direction of the flow and you will find similar markings on the LED panel that you see here. You see there are markings. So this arrow and that arrow is there. That arrow has to be always upside. You know, it has to be always upside like this. And this is the direction of flow. So this arrow here on the frame shows that your first LED has to be from here and then here and this direction and this direction here should match. Okay. Now the other direction uh, is upward. And now because it is in opposite actually your LED will come like this. It is like this. So when you're going to fix it, it will be in this direction opposite to this when you look at the back side of the LED panel. But when you turn the LED panel like this, it is going to match this to it. Okay. So it is very important to keep this in mind that all the panels, LED panels, we are going to put them together. They have to point in the same direction. That is how the data will flow. Those who are going to display. And the up arrow should always be upside, you know, so the arrow should always be upside of this, okay? So that's it about the frame. I think it's very simple. Just wanted you to be familiar about the frame in which we are going to put all the components of the climate clock. I think that's it in this particular module, number eight. In the next module, what we are going to do is we are going to start actually making the climate clock and putting the components together. 
the next module will be about interconnecting the p10 displays there are three and how do we interconnect them together how do we put that those three modules in this frame we are going to see in the next module so thank you very much stay tuned i am sure you are enjoying the learning and you are a step closer to making your own climate cloud thank you so much